What's up guys, it's Miles. Hope you're all doing amazing today. Um, today's video, I figure I'd do a Q&A. I just posted a Q&A on my uh, Instagram right there. Um, ran it for a day, got some good responses, and I'd figure I'd make a video and answer some questions. If you haven't followed me on Instagram already, please follow, link down below. Um, really helps. That's where I post all of my um, photos and videos. Um, you can just track my progress on there. Um, but without further ado, I'll um, look at some of the questions. Okay, first few questions. How do you edit your photos and what software do you edit on? I use Adobe for everything pretty much. So mainly I use Lightroom and I use Photoshop. Um, pretty standard for most people. I like to mix between the two. It really just depends on what I'm shooting and what I'm going for. Adobe Suite, sometimes I use my iPhone. 90% of the time I'm always using Adobe. I use Adobe for everything. I'm editing on Adobe right now. Um, but yeah, that's the question for that. What got you into photography? So, I started photography in 2020 during COVID. I got an old camera for my birthday. Actually, I have it right here. I got this camera for my birthday. I was planning to do vlogs with this, but obviously with an old camera like this, like it's literally got dust on it, as you can see. I don't use this that much anymore um, for good reason, but it was a good camera to shoot with. I'll uh, put some photos down here that I took that were my favorites, but basically I didn't touch this for three months because I knew I couldn't vlog with it. And then one day me and my friends just got really bored and we went over to this like cool spot um, and we just took this with us and then we were like, okay, let's just shoot some photos and they actually turned out pretty good. We'll put some right there. Um, but yeah, that was a really fun shoot. And after that, I was like, hey, I can actually like, like I wanna like, you know, do more of this, you know? And um, sooner or later, like it just, like I started getting attention and people wanted to shoot with me so then and i realized i could actually get paid from this so i spent all of last year just grinding um i upgraded my camera setup once and then you know some of the, i'll put some more photos right here and then after that i upgraded to this setup i'm using right now which also leads to the next question so i started two years ago roughly with this camera and it's been fun ever since opinion on gear versus photographer honestly i'm on the fence Obviously gear doesn't matter if you're trying to be creative, but if you're trying to accomplish a certain goal, whether it be like shooting rollers for a car or doing studio photography, gear does matter because you need certain things to um, just get a certain type of photo. I mean, obviously you can edit everything that you want, but gear does make things easier. So I hope that is a good answer. Favorite thing to shoot. Honestly, I don't really have a favorite. I do like doing portraits. That's um, definitely what I do the most, but I'm open to trying anything really. But I'd say lately, I've really been enjoying um, doing stu studio portraits. Put some right here. So that's for like shooting for models, um, mainly models, digitals, headshots, etc. I would say my favorite thing to shoot is people because it's just a lot more fun. How do you do underwater shoots? I used to um, use this thing. I haven't used it in a while, but this is what I used to shoot with. Just a little bag thing. You can find it on Amazon. Um, just like look up underwater setup. Um, you can put any camera in here, that's what's nice about it. So I use this for a lot of shoots actually, and the photos turned out really good. So put some right there. Um, this is really nice, but not exactly 100% waterproof, even though it says I wouldn't take the risk. But again, that's up to you. So I started with that and then give me one second. So this is what I use now. So I have an actual underwater setup now. Yeah, this fits my camera that I use. It's pretty heavy, pretty big, has a nice dome port. The whole thing opens up the camera in there and I got these handles so when I'm underwater so not only can I shoot stuff like on the surface of the ocean which I used to do with the other setup I went to Catalina over the summer and saw some fishes took a lot of photos put some right there this thing is really fun to use very heavy I would say also this setup was pretty expensive I was just really into it and I wanted to try it out so I was like you know what I'll buy it that's how I do underwater shoots nowadays I use this thing um, but occasionally I'll break out the old one because it's a lot easier to set up versus this this has just a million things you have to do to set it up and also it's just like kind of a pain dragging it around. Pre-shoot preparation, gear, detail shots, etc. When I'm preparing for a shoot, usually I talk to the client through text or call. I usually ask them like, hey, what shoot do you want to do? Um, what location? I'll like give them inspiration pictures or pictures that I have. Gear, like I said, gear just kind of varies. Um, I'm always bringing my camera with me. I'll usually just bring as much as possible of what I think I'll use. I'm not sure what detail shots means, but my interpretation, like I have like a certain 
like shot list that kind of matches the vibe and I'll kind of go off of there but when I'm on location I just kind of go with the flow and if something looks interesting then I shoot it. Would you dive into videography? Yes, I am planning to dive into videography soon. Right now I'm just trying to wrap up a few more shoots, get some more money, and then I'm going to upgrade my laptop, um, the one I currently have right now. It's just not fast enough um, just for editing video. Uh, my camera, the files are just too big. It wasn't really worth the time for me to really just spend time on it, but trying to do more videos now with this channel and all that, but yes, I want to get into it. Where do you get your clean ass fits? Thank you, Dustin. I mean, I just shop online. It's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll buy retail, but everything that I'm wearing right now, it's just all from shopping online, thrifting, etc. I can go more into that on my other channel, my personal, but this one's mainly for photography, but I figured I'd say that. Editing tutorial, class recommendations. I pretty much learned everything on YouTube or just through experience, but pretty much all I did to learn how to edit was I watched some YouTube videos, I learned how to use every tool in Lightroom, every tool in Photoshop, etc. But honestly, after that, it's just up to your creative intuition and your taste and style to uh, make the photo right. But you know, there's no right or wrong, but I would learn how to use every um, bit of the software. Snowboarding Monday the 19th. I can't, I have a shoot at that time. Um, I'm doing a shoot with a brand on Monday. It's gonna be a studio shoot, so stay tuned for that. Sorry, Jackson, I can't. <laughs> I'm not even going to answer this, but yes, yes. What's it like to wake up every day and slay? Honestly, I have no comment for that, but you know, every time I wake up, I'm always wanting to do something new, you know, try out something, learn something. I feel like that's what ever, anyone should do when they wake up, you know, I feel like you should just make a goal to like, hey, I'm going to watch this one YouTube video to learn something new. Um, you know, I'm going to go out and shoot. No, that's kind of my mindset nowadays. When shooting individual people ranging from friends to artists, do you ever let them in on the creative direction slash process? I hope that's a good question. When I'm on shoots with people, I mean, technically, since we're shooting together, they are part of the creative process since we're shooting. And then if it's for like a bigger collaborative project, so like if I'm working for a music video, for example, which I've done in the past few weeks, I've worked on a couple music videos, then everyone's just kind of collaborating. Well, like after the shoot, we'll be like, wait, can you edit it like this? Can you do this? We'll like be pretty much just collabing on ideas, making tweaks. It's pretty much it. Um, sometimes after the shoot, I'll show the client the photos if they want to be picky about it we'll kind of just pick the best ones and if I'm shooting with my friends uh, who also do photography I'll like let them in on like some insight like teach them stuff but that's pretty much it I mean I hope that satisfies your uh, question what got you into photography pretty much answered that what's in your camera bag good question so 90% of the time I carry this thing around a lot of people use this bag it's from Low Pro. Right now, it doesn't have that much stuff in it, just because I'm not doing a shoot right now. You can kind of see, it's got like all these organization panels, so I usually put my camera right here. I'll put like my strobe light right there. I'll put like everything else over here, but right now all we got is, I've got some, uh, you know, your, uh, I don't I, I keep forgetting what they're called. I, I forget the name of these, but they change, uh, they're like these rings, changes the diameter width um, if I want to put a filter on. Don't really use these that much unless if I'm using an ND. All these go to 82 millimeters because my ND filter, which is right here, um, only use that for video or if I'm like doing um, some flash photography in like bright daylight. Just like a bunch of random screws and stuff when I need to do studio shoots. That's why I keep up, keep up here. I put my laptop right here, got some filters right here, more filters, all of them are 82. This lens that's in here, this is my biggest lens, uh, this is an 82 millimeter. Keep all of mine to the max, I have this lens right here. I have three lenses, so I have these two that, that are in the bag, and I have the one I'm using right now. I have a bunch of vintage lenses as well, but I don't really use them that much unless if I'm trying to get a certain effect. Here's my flash, also serves as a trigger for uh, uh, studio work, but that's everything that's in my bag right now. Um, I also have Peak Design Strap. Gotta get one of these, these are essential. So that, that's pretty much it, what's in my camera bag. Overall, really nice bag, sturdy. Um, a little bit heavy, but honestly, it gets the work done. That's pretty much it for the Q&A. Thank you all for asking um, all these wonderful questions. Hopefully we can do something like this in the future. But without further ado, we got a little studio tour. So here we go. 
Okay guys, welcome to the studio. It's just my bedroom apartment. Laptop right there, another monitor, mouse, keyboard, etc. Just the bare essentials. Keep all my uh, cables over here for charging stuff. Here's my GoPro. Um, here's some of the cleaning stuff I use for my lenses. Batteries, get that out of the way. Um, so I have, I use this little cart to uh, store just a bunch of stuff I have. Um, in here, pretty much just holds uh, just like card readers and like extra attachments. So like, this is for a studio, you know, this is to put your like your phone on a tripod, etc. Extra memory cards, pretty much it for that. Little mic attachment for this mic that I'm using right now. Here's my bulb for a uh, studio, I just put in the sock just so it stays protected. Gotta have one of these, obviously. It's just an essential GoPro tripod. Little battery pack, can't go wrong. This is just for my studio light. Same thing with this. I have a vintage lens right here, really nice. Don't really use it that much, but still a great lens. Got good character. Tethering cord down here. I have my strobe. I have some clips for my stand. You know, I have my waterproof thing, some other things right there. Down here, it's just like, I don't really use it. It's just some extra things. So over here, sorry for the mess, but got a battery grip for my camera. Gotta have one of those essential. My old camera, my drone, um, controller for my drone. I don't really use my drone that much, but I do want to get into it later. Just my nightstand. I mean, got my headphones right there. When I'm editing, I use these AirPod Maxes. This is a good book, good for inspiration. I have my speakers down here. Um, I use these for DJing as well, um, but they just serve as good speakers when I'm listening to the audio for my videos. So my DJ controllers right there. And here's just like all my chargers and stuff. It's pretty much it for the desk setup. That's pretty much where I edit everything. Right here is my photo wall. A lot of the photos are just stuff I like or photos that I took, for example like this photo you know but that's pretty much it for that stuff here's where I put my camera right here on this tripod I'm using these two lights right now just standing up really cheap to get here's another shelf I have one of those you know instant cameras gotta have one of those really nice I put my underwater um, setup right there there's another lens for my underwater setup. That's the light that I'm using. I just keep the box there. Nothing much over here, just my shoes and my bed, but that's pretty much it for my room. So yeah, this is um, the other part of the apartment. It's dark right now, no light on. Um, but right here, this is where I set up my backdrop when I do studio shots. My C stands right there, my other light panels over there, my backdrops in that um, cardboard box and I have some V flats over there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think of what else I have, but um, honestly, pretty simple setup, honestly. Just just need spaces to where I uh, um, hold all my stuff. Um, I do plan to get a lot more gear soon. Hope that answered a lot of questions or concerns and all that. But yeah, that's my setup for my studio. Nothing crazy. Um, I do plan to move into another house next year. We'll stay tuned for that. Honestly, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do. Yeah, this is where I'm working right now. Not really too much complaints other than just trying to get a new laptop. But other than that, I think that's everything I wanted to share in this video. If you like this, drop a like, all that, you know. Comment down below, subscribe, share to your friends. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Hope you learned something new. Type in the comments if you wanna see something or if you have an idea of what you want me to make. I'm here, I'm always reading them. And also, if you wanna reach me even faster, go on my Instagram. And last but not least, if you want to do a photo shoot with me, I'm here in LA area and Orange County area. So if you're in this area, hit me up. Um, we can set up a shoot and I'd love to just like talk to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.